Thank you. <laughs> Just 12 months ago, the three young men that are sitting over there on table five stood in this position here and accepted the Telstra NT Business of the Year Award. Two of them, Ben and Darren, are my sons, and Angus is a long-time school friend of them both. For me, there was no greater joy as a father and as a mentor to be in business with people who you've watched grow up and develop, who are family in every sense of the word. Now, the business we're in is called ServiceMate, and it's a software application built here in Darwin for small trades and service businesses. It's now used in over 16 countries in the world, and thousands of people use our service every day. The job of ServiceMate is to give small business a competitive advantage, to increase their productivity, and to improve their cash flow. Essentially, we help them build a better business. Twelve months have now passed, and while it's been extremely busy over that year, I've still taken the time to think about our business and to think about how winning these awards has affected us. We've just returned from a month in the United States, and it's capped what has been an incredible year. ServiceMate has been very well received by everyone who's seen it, and we've impressed some very large and influential international organisations. The future of ServiceMate looks extremely bright. Over this last year, our revenue has grown 120% and is still increasing. ServiceMate customers have billed their clients over $500 million in the last 12 months using our software. It's a fantastic result. Thank you. For me personally, it's been unbelievably satisfying watching the growth of our small business and watching these three young fellas take a Darwin business onto the international stage. But what's been really interesting is that although we've achieved so much over the last 12 months, it's been nothing more than I expected. And the reason for that is simple. When we wrote our Telstra Award application, as everyone in this room would know, it really made us think about our business. Which international markets are we going to tackle? Who are the key players? And what will success look like when we achieve it? Well, it's pretty much come to pass. Not exactly as we expected. Some things have been better. Some things have been much harder. And some things need more work. But overall, we've built the foundation that we envisaged when we wrote our Telstra Award application over 12 months ago. And I have referred to that application countless times since then. And I've realised that's the true secret and the value of these awards. It's what I call business fitness. It's about taking the time to plan, to look inward, to ask yourself the tough but important questions. Questions like, where do I want to see my business in the future? And how will I get there? At ServiceMate, we hear from customers every day. And the thing we hear the most is how busy they are. I've realised that every one of these small businesses would benefit from investing in business fitness. Spending some time each week working on their business and not just in it. Now, most of these businesses will never do a Telstra Award application. But how much better could they be if they just spent one hour a week working on something that was important but not urgent? Something that helped their business work smarter, 
or grow. Every one of you in this room has started that process. You've kicked off your business fitness regime. Entering these awards forces a critical review of your business. And then to be a finalist, someone independent has assessed every aspect of your business and seen excellence. All that you've achieved so far and all the things that you can achieve in the future. The challenge for you is to continue that journey, no matter what happened here tonight, to realise that you, here tonight, have a competitive advantage over other businesses. Now, I wonder what you'll do with that advantage. And that's my challenge to you. I challenge you to see these awards as the beginning. I challenge you to continue the work that you've started here tonight. And I challenge you to be a fit and therefore successful business. Thanks very much.